I just love sharing a cozy water bottle with precious hot water just for me to be therapeutic and to be tranquil as well for me to be relaxed. Well, that's probably a very bland start to the video, eh? And speaking of water, well, hello there guys and all YouTubers and whatnot. Guess what? I've got three just of origami water toys to go with here. And all these toys are pretty cool. We've got a track master Claudia who's been quite sluggish, pulling a mixture of passengers and freight with those three tank wagons. If only there were proper some tankers, they would have been a photo. And we've got this generic goddamn Japanese electric multiple unit train doing this sort of. Well, I don't know if it's a figure eight, but it looks more like a dog bone. Whenever you look at this layout here, it's in the shape of a bone. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at some water birds. And all these products are British Wildlife Collection toys. And yes, we've got two cigar products, and one of them is not. But I'm just gonna show you this one here first, which isn't really a cigar product, and it's this one here. And before we can actually start, uh, we'll let Proteus Pass by over the way because he's quite a bit of a slow coach. Pulling a trio of, well, it looks like it'd be faceless Annie and Kyle Bells. A single box car and a trio of tankers. If any of have faces on them, well, there'll be probably some tankers. Oh my goodness me, I bet this slow train would take over the whole video, eh? Uh, but, anyways, with that sluggish train out of the way, it is a common Moyan family and Grayling Fish Pair. Well, pack. It's quite interesting, eh? If I take a look at the pictures here, sorry for the, um, obviously, the why I'm actually shooting this video here, it's actually not quite bright. Uh, let me just go ahead and turn on the table lamp, because I think I need a bit of visibility on the video here. It's not bright enough. Not enough contrast here. Okay, I'll just bring the light just a bit, though, not too near, otherwise the light will just scorch at me. Normally I don't often use that at daytime though because, well, to be quite obviously honest, oh, what can you say? It's not night time. But anyways, I'm just using it for the fact that um, I want a bit of brightness and contrast and colour here. And um, this work light, I don't know how much colour it have got, but I hope it's going to brighten things up along the way as I'm making this video. And I'm trying to be... Oh, something's got in there table, or the desk, eh? I'm just going to bring it a bit nearer, but I'm not going to do it way too near to me because it's going to scorch my hands. But anyways, this is the common Moorhead family in Grayling. Uh, family, oh my goodness me, it is a Moorhead family in Grayling fish pay 12 pack, and it costs about £14, which is pretty much, well, not that pretty much expensive, there's the back of the packaging there. Okay, it looks pretty funky. Pretty funky by the looks of it though, with these, um, well obviously they're more hens actually, they're not ducks, but they're just chicken like water birds. And some people call them water hens, or even swamp chickens for that matter, because they prefer like fresh water rather than like coastal areas, maybe like rather than salt water and places like that, eh? But um, yeah, it's quite a very interesting rendition of the more hens that we see in our familiar. Oh, just that water areas that we often see them in our town parks and even cities as well, though. They're a very fascinating looking bird. Okay, these guys love to feed on fish, water plants, insects, fruit, scraps. Yes, human scraps, obviously, eh? But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get the unpacking because I'm quite enticed on these more hens, eh? And I actually did a Moorhand product there before, eh? But these ones there, they're actually quite... They're actually quite longer than usual, which is very unusual. If I grab one of the Moorhands here... Okay, so this is what they would look like. And I've got this sort of very weird looking... Um, evil sort of colour in that either. Oh, there's my toe here. Sorry about that one, eh? Trying to be visible here, there's a hair from China. Or something like that one, eh? And um, there's no map detailing here, which is quite bland. But um, it does look like where well, more than it's supposed to be. And um, this is the 
black, black tail section here. Actually, this it's more white rather than black because of the fact that I had a bit of a look on a real more hair now. Okay, here's the other one there. Obviously, these guys, uh, I'll probably say they're both male, but I wonder which one of these is a female because we've got some chicks to contend with. Alright, um, oh my goodness me, that looks quite nice. Okay, it must be of a cassowary. And if I look at these more hen chicks, okay, that's the other side of it, eh? Um, sadly, these guys, these little ones, yes, little ones, eh? Or little ones, they just don't have any licensing info. If only they had licensing info, it would have gave these toys a lot more effort to do so, eh? But I might come in and add them after making this video, eh? Um, obviously, some of them have got very, you know, they've got very kooky eyes, eh? But most of the time, they just have, like, normal looking eyes. Very nice looking head patterns on the top of blue and brown. And you know what this really does represent what a real Mohan would actually be like though. And yes, these guys are slightly smaller than coots and tend to prefer water areas with vegetation. Or should I say high amounts of vegetation. Okay, so that's that. And we've also got some growlings. Which despite the name, they don't look that grow to me. Um, but nevertheless, they are supposed to be based on what real growlings are. Uh, I can't remember which type of fish belongs. I can't remember what growlings are like there. I mean, they are related to. I can't remember which fish they are. If you really know what growlings are and where they are related to, please leave in the comments down below. I really love to know. Okay, that's the common more hands uh, twelve pack. Uh, looking at the back of the packaging here. It looks quite impressive, but I think it's missing those assets that's what we have with this product here. Which, in a sense, that really makes no sense at all for the fact that, yes, it doesn't really match to what the artwork of the packaging really looks like, eh? But, nevertheless, it's quite a very intriguing looking piece of packaging, eh? And the artwork looks, obviously, quite amazing! Beautiful stuff, obviously, eh? Beautiful, obviously, at all times. Uh, let me just go ahead and move on to the next look at product, which will be all about seagulls. And yes, we've got, ooh, some juvenile lesser black bat girls swimming and fishing for 12 pack. And uh, let's see, the price, 18 pounds. Man, that is actually very expensive. You know, I definitely say, oh, there's the back of the packaging here. Yeah. I definitely say it's pretty much expensive. For me, in my opinion, no, obviously we're in April, and I definitely say that that cold, snowy Easter that we had recently, though, it's been quite amazing. In fact, it snowed after Easter, which made scenes a lot more like Christmas than Easter. But anyways, that's what they would look like, eh? And uh, we've got, wow, we've got four different species of fish. Uh, is that a mackerel? There's a couple of carp here. Okay, and we've also got like a wishy washy sardine and then another cod here. What's funny, whenever I look at these pieces of artwork on the that product packaging, obviously, just because it contains like, you know, six seagulls here doesn't exactly mean there's obviously six on the artwork there, which is pretty much interestingly confusing. But nevertheless, I don't know about you, but I'm just pretty much a sort of person who loves to take a bit of time. Okay, let me just start with this one here. It is, of course, a wishy-washy sardine, smiling. Um, yes, it does look like what wishy-washy is supposed to be. Okay, that's that. We've also got a trio of magic carps, which look like that. Alright, that looks very, very cool. Very interesting. Uh, I don't know if the scale patterns of green and yellow look iridescent or iridescent to me though but they look totally stunning uh, there's the other one here okay looks quite nice indeed and we've also got this mackerel here is that a mackerel or is it a portrait? I bet that's a mackerel because I can tell by the design on the artwork here that's supposed to be this fish here that one there oh there it is there 
and we've also got this sea bass, which looks quite amazing. Indeed, I don't know if you can see that. Um, sorry about the lightning though, it's been quite a poor um, sort of day though, I believe. There. It's been, yeah, the visibility on the camera there, it's not that really doing that well, but as you can see, um, obviously the fish looks quite very, very nice. There you go, if I turn the camera here, therefore it looks pretty much nice. And the best thing about these fishies is that you can put them onto the beaks on those juvenile lesser blackback seagulls. And if you open up here, why well, am I thinking of sea shanty at the moment though? That's a very popular trend, especially on TikTok. But anyways, oh my goodness me. Wow. Um, I didn't expect this to slide. What's quite strange is, is that whenever I, I attach a fish onto the beak of a seagull, yes, it's not doing really well. It's probably to do with weight difference or things like that. I just, you know, can't remember obviously all the times, eh? Oh well, it's quite weird, eh? There's another one there. Obviously, I might go ahead and show you all of them, eh? Without taking quite a long time, all of them have got names here. Uh, juvenile, that's a black bat girl. And um, obviously, they've all got the same sort of beak powers here on the wings and the tails as well. So if my skin's a bit exposed, obviously, eh? Sometimes body parts are not that necessary to be exposed on my videos and whatnot. There you go, they share the same black toe end and the big wing tips of blackness. And also some brown detailings as well. And, um, my goodness me, that looks quite interesting, though. Eh? Trying to contain on how many seagulls that we have at the moment, eh? There we go. Ooh, there's six of them here. And if I turn them on the other side, I bet you what, these guys may look the same indeed, but I bet those weird, kooky looking eyes. I don't know why I'm saying what kooky, eh? Um, obviously, I got a funny feeling. They look so different, those very big, fancy looking eyes. There you go. Very interesting indeed there. And also, I like the, the you know, oh, what's it called? The tail band? What's it, the tail end? Oh well. Obviously, they look quite nice. And, um, pretty much simplistic there. I mean, they do look nice, but at the same time, I think it's a bit bland for me though, because I think. That whenever I keep on making these type of tours, I feel like I'm running out of ideas. And please don't start on that sea shanting trend there, because obviously that's a trend that has been not just, you know, widely popular, but it's also a trend on TikTok. But anyways, um, I haven't done any TikTok videos there at the moment though. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you the story of why I haven't done any TikTok videos around the Easter holidays. There's a very scary story there, I'm not going to do that there. But anyways, let's take a look at this fire pack. Yes, it costs about £7.99 or £8. Just a very cheesy picture of a seagull just waving at you. Just thinking about this one here. Buy me, buy me, buy me. And there's the other side here. Looks quite nice. There you go. It's very interesting. I love the perspective view of some seagulls. Just swimming on the ocean. Or it could be the sea, it could be the lake. Could be any body of water, maybe a pond or somewhere like that, eh? But it is most likely a lake or possibly the sea or the ocean, eh? And um, there you go. That's what we have. And um, just the same, obviously, eh? But look at the way the name has been arranged. Here. It's got juvenile lesser black bats, but from the bottom it only just has the big word of gold. Look at that, it's just very different indeed, eh? It's just that it's very, very intriguing. There's the other one there. Okay, if I take a look at this section here. Lovely head detailing, I believe, eh? And obviously the heads like that, it's so very reminiscent of what the seagulls would look like in their flip flop origami flapping birds um, design. Obviously the head looks so, so rad and interesting to take a look at that one, eh? And now I've got to tell you what. You know, I love the line streaking there, but I don't know about you. I don't think that they're that great compared to the adults, but, um, you know, it's pretty much realism, isn't it, eh? Well, uh, I think the sunshine is pretty much coming out now. 
So I better have to turn off this light here because if I keep on using this great big tape lamp though that I have right next to me, um, it's gonna cost electricity. And it's not a very good thing. Oh, oh my goodness me, eh? I did do that one, eh? Not a very good idea to keep that light on when it's really, really sunny outside, eh? But anyways, um, if you really have enjoyed this video here, please give this video a like, subscribe for more flip flap videos on my YouTube channel, and I'm really sorry, I just can't tell you the story about the time that I am actually deciding not to use TikTok throughout the rest of the ASOS because that's going to scare the crap out of my colleagues or any other people around me who have been, you know, pretty much subscribed to my YouTube channel and has known me for pretty much a fairly long time. But anyways, with that being said, I'm not going to mention it at all, eh? but anyways, if you really have subscribed and like this video, as always, I'd really like to say thank you so much for your time, thank you so much for watching in this very interesting video, right? And I gotta tell you what, also, there's one thing I forgot to mention yet. Today is the 12th of April, and guess what? Most of everything is open, like you know, shops, cars, restaurants, everything open. Well, I gotta tell you what, we're still at the mix of being on the pandemic side, like you said, what I. But I definitely say that June 21st would be the deadline, I believe, eh? Anyways, as always, Thanks again for the second time. We'll let that train go by. And goodbye for now. Bye.